The Orange Line is a 14-mile exclusive busway with 14 stations. The buses run starting from approximately 3.38 in the morning and end their schedule around 1 a.m. They are timed to meet with the uh, Metro Red Line trains and also to bring people to the North Hollywood Transit Center. Before this line was put in place, it would take about 81 minutes to take local services from Warner Center to Universal City. Now this trip takes on average between 44 and 52 minutes. When we first opened the line, we expected to be able to carry 9 to 12,000 people, but now we're between 26 and 28,000 daily riders on the service. Well, this is about 35 miles an hour. We're restricted in, in this particular area, but the max speed that we get to is 55 miles an hour. I just want to show you the orange line, one of the intersections. This camera is near one on Chandler Boulevard near Lower Canyon. We're zooming in at one of the locations. The signal system, which gives us priority along the exclusive busway, gives us about 75% green time. So as a bus approaches, there are loops in the roadway which sense when a bus is coming and determines whether or not the signal can go green for the bus. For whatever reason, they're late to their destination, the next bus stop, with a certain clock time they were supposed to meet. The traffic signal downstream would know that, and the light, the green duration will favor the busway in such a way that helps the buses to recover their lost time and their headways to the next bus stop. The system was designed as a rail emulator, so you pay off the bus, there are ticket vendors where you buy your fare. You have to carry that for fare inspection. The tap card system allows people to preload fares. You can buy a monthly pass, a day pass, and you have unlimited riding throughout the system. It's a very simple design. Everything is low floor, so people don't have difficulty getting up to a step. We can handle up to three bicycles on every bus. There's a rack that has been specially fitted for our coaches. So we went from double racks to triple racks on all of the buses along this corridor because they're, they're heavily used. Here comes another one with a bike on it. One of the things that's very different about Los Angeles is we are so spread out and our employment centers are so decentralized that people are going everywhere all the time. So we know that bikes with transit is a key component in solving the transportation problem. Orange Line Bikeway was built in conjunction with the Orange Line Busway. It stretches about 14 miles from Canoga Park to North Hollywood. The good thing about the bike path is this upstreet facility. It is much safer than a bike lane on the street. It provides safety at the same time running next to a, an active busway. You can always stop at the stations, jump onto the bus. The corridor was designed to have a lot of foliage, a lot of greenery and to make it accessible to people. This bike path and the landscaping, the lighting, everything specifically for a cyclist experience was paid for by transportation enhancement funds. In Los Angeles, transportation enhancement funds are particularly important to us. That is where all of our bikeway funding comes from. Every station has eight lockers and racks. But we realize that racks are really more of a short-term parking solution because the security in, in racks is not as great as it, as it is with a locker. There was a lot of skepticism on the bus runtime between the east side of the valley and the west side of San Fernando Valley. Um, but the bus has been proven to be a major success. I mean, the ridership is going through the roof. It's not uncommon to see uh, very heavily utilized buses late at night into the wee hours. We're starting to add lockers to many of our stations because our demand is getting so great. Uh, we work with uh, people from Las Vegas, Seattle, New York, Cleveland, and many, many other folks from around the world have come here to see what we did. <laughs>